Hey guys, Daz here from Total Reformation. Now on today's video blog, I'm going to show you what I do for a very quick meal in the morning. So breakfast, you know, one of the most important meals a day, we've had it all the time. But how can we do it quickly that still suits our metabolic type, uh, but has got everything we need to really get the day started? Now again, I'm a parasympathetic dominant. What that means is I do well on higher amounts of fat and protein. But one of my favorite little things that I love to do for the morning is have like a bone broth soup. Now, if you're not sure how to make bone broth, you can check out my other YouTube video, which is how to make bone broth and why it's so good for you. Uh, that's a little starting point. I filmed it a couple of years ago, so I've changed things up a little bit. Uh, you do it nowadays in a slow cooker. Um, really cook the chook very slowly, keep all the juices, have the meal, the actual chicken meal with a whole lot of veggies, keep leftover meat and keep all the juices and the bones and cook um, my bone broth the next day. So I always sort of do like a, a weekly bone broth, which is something easy to do, you can do on the weekend, you don't even need to be near it, you can just let it cook away slowly in the background. And then you set up for the week. And the great thing about this is some mornings I'm up super early and I've got to get into the studio to look after some clients, but I really need to make sure I've got a very um, nutritious breakfast. So this is what I do. I keep the leftover chicken, or if I need to, I can cook up some extra meat the night before with dinner. When I come out in the morning, everything's ready to go. So I've chopped up the night before the vegetables that I want to use. And again, they're for my metabolic type. So for this meal, I've chosen some spinach, which is really good for my metabolic type. I've just got some baby spinach. Um, some red capsicum is in there. I'm using ginger today. In my bone broth, I've actually put a lot of turmeric in it already. So it's actually come out with a real rich golden color. Um, I'm also using some basil for a bit of extra flavor and I've just got some celery today. You can use pretty much anything you want and depending on your metabolic type, you can actually swap and change the type of vegetables you're gonna have in your dish. Already, what I've got cooking is my bone broth is um, slowly cooking away. Remember, we never wanna cook things fast, do it slowly. And I've actually put bits of chicken in there ready to go. So I've come out first thing in the morning, I'm still half asleep. I put this on, I'm hardly thinking, it's just a bit of a routine for me now, and that cooks slowly. The good thing about all the vegetables is you don't actually have to cook them. All you need to do is just put them in your glass jar or ceramic jar, so remember no plastics. And when you add the warm broth and the chicken, they're just gonna soften up. So by the time I get to work and by the time I'm actually gonna eat my meal, they just got a nice little bit of softness to them. I haven't lost any of the nutrient value of it at all. And I've got a beautiful, rich soup with a bit of crunch to it. Now you can play around. Now here's an extra little tip for a, a fast oxidizer or a parasympathetic, someone who needs higher amounts of protein or fat. Um, we can add an egg into it. This is just gonna give you a little bit extra um, oomph for the day. Now, how I do it, I actually almost treat it like a bit of a poached egg. So while that's cooking with the chicken, all I do is just drop an egg straight in. Moink. And that's just gonna slowly cook. Look at that, beautiful. In with the chicken, might give it just a little bit more heat. And slowly it's just gonna cook and form a beautiful, like almost like a poached egg pretty much. And then I just scoop it straight into my bowl. So that is so simple, literally in the morning, however long it takes me just to warm up the broth, that's it. So I do it a little bit slow, so I allow like five minutes to actually cook my broth in the morning. And there is an unbelievably healthy, nutritious breakfast idea that's warm, so especially in the cooler months in winter, you've got this beautiful warm morning breakfast, even in summer too, it's just a quick one on the go. So play around with the vegetables, I'm actually gonna add in just for a little bit of extra flavor today. I always use obviously Himalayan salt just for taste. So just bring that in at the end. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more curry in it today. You can play around with the flavors and a bit of extra pepper. So it's got a little bit of a kick to it. But how easy is that? So simple. Um, to keep it warm, I actually get like a cooler bag. I get a hot water bottle and I put it all in there and I keep it all zipped up so it stays nice and warm. So if you have to transit a fair bit to work 
or by the time you actually have your breakfast, it's a couple of hours, it's still gonna be warm. It'll hold its heat really well, especially in the glass too. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. Make sure you let us know your thoughts um, and keep an eye out for some of our new video blogs that we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna try and tie in a little bit more um, all of our metabolic typing in meals. And once you learn your metabolic type, it's about trying to just experiment with your food as to what makes you feel the best. For me, I know that this meal is gonna see me through a good three or four hours until lunchtime, and I'm switched on, don't have any cravings, I'm definitely not irritable, and everything's functioning really, really well. So there we go, very simple broth soup first thing in the morning to get your day started. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video blog.